All right. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Over. I'm here with the J Chima, and tomorrow's a big game. You know, it could be one and done. So, how you feel that you know your season could possibly be over tomorrow? You know, it's uh, it's kind of surreal. I didn't expect it to go this quickly. You know, what's up, Gio? But uh, yeah, this season kind of flew by. You know, it hasn't gone exactly the way we wanted to. But I think right now is all that really matters. We're gonna come out and play awesome show out. Do you think you can pull it off? I do. I think we got a pretty good chance. How do you feel about the matchup against Lee Summit? They're a good team. You know, they only have nine wins, but they beat some pretty good teams. They beat Park Hill South. They beat Liberty. Those are two pretty good teams. But uh, I think we match up pretty well to them, and uh, we'll definitely give them a good play. How do, you, how do you prepare mentally for the games? You know, I like to get locked in the night before, you know, kind of just think about what I'm going to do on the court and try and go out there and do that. Lip sync, the music. That too, you know, got to get right with the music pre-game. Always got my AirPods in warming up, so, you know, just got to get mentally focused as much as I can. All right, y'all up by three, you know, fast break. What what you doing? I'm punching that. Like, I'm two hands off two. Off two? Mm-hmm. You hanging? I'm hanging on the rim. You going to get the crowd hype? Yeah. He's not, but let's do this. <laughs> <thing>. You a <laughs> hater. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Ober. I'm here with Dallas Wanda. Dallas, tomorrow could be the end of your season. How you feel? I mean, I feel good. I don't think it'll be the end of our season. I'm pretty confident going into this. I think we've got a really good chance at winning. We're a higher seed, and we've been having good practices, so I'm feeling good going into this. Mm -hmm. So y'all practice a lot and physically prepare for the games, but how do you mentally prepare for big games like that? You just imagine yourself going through game situations in your head in positive ways and just, like, think about what you're going to contribute in your head and, like, how you could be a good teammate and, like, just help the team win. How do you hype yourself up and your teammates up before a big game like that? Uh, physically or mentally? What do you mean by that? <laughs> just both, <laughs> both. I mean, you could, I mean, we get pretty hyped in the locker room before uh, big games. So there'll probably be like a speaker in there. We'll be listening to music, getting pumped up and stuff. That's pretty much it. So let's say, you know, fast break, what you, what you hitting? Uh, I'm gonna go for a two-hand dunk this time. I got the one-hand one, I got the one-hand dunk down. I'm gonna go for a two-hand dunk, maybe a little back scratch. You hanging on the rim? Yeah, I'm getting a take, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then last question. You hit the game-winning shot, two seconds left. You move on. What's your celebration after you hit that shot? I'm gonna just take off running around the court because the whole bench is gonna clear out and they're all gonna just start chasing me, bumping me. If you go back to the clip where I got my dunk, you're gonna see Kamori run up to me and just truck me like a football player and that's not happening again. So I'm gonna take off. Right so there. no dance moves, no nothing? Oh, dance moves? No I'm head like, tap, no. I might uh, just wanna rock, so. Go ahead, show us. Yeah, I can't do that right now. So, so, you, so you're not gonna show us with the camera? Nah, One, nah. you know, four people right here, nah. but you're doing it in front of the whole, the whole stance. Yeah, I'm gonna wait, I'm wait until there's more people. You gonna make them wait? Yeah, make them wait. All right, well, we'll hope to see that then. I got you. Bro. All right, appreciate it, bro. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Oberg, I'm here with Brandon. You know, tomorrow you got a big game, you know. It could be one or done. And, you know, you, your bas basketball's done for you. Yeah. How you feel about that? Uh, I feel like we can go very far if we win. You know, we have a, if we win, we have a game on Friday. If we lose, our season's over, and I really don't want our season to be over and stuff like that. So I hope we win. You know, since it's a big game, how do you mentally prepare for a game like that? Um, you know, the practice, we just run through plays that we're going to run through the game. We also watch film to see how they play and we just, like, work through that and stuff like that. So that's kind of more like physical stuff. How do you say you're going to mentally prepare? Oh, mentally. Yeah, like how you going to get hyped up, you know, stay calm during the game? Um, just like, just have like a energy or like a thought that you're going to beat them and go out and do that. Like you have to have it in your mind that you're going to win that game. All right, and then let's say, let's say you hit the game winning shot. What you doing? What's your celebration? I'll, hey, I'll think of anything for, for, I mean, I'll probably gritty on the logo at that point. You going gritty on the logo? Yeah. So it's your gritty then. You can't do it in front of the camera, but you're going to do it in front of the stairs. Uh, Y'all see if I hit a game win. <laughs> All right, and then last question. Fast break, what you hitting? A dunk. You what type of dunk? One hand. Off two. You already know the deal. On the right hand side. On hand made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, appreciate you, bro. All right. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Oberg, and I'm here with Chuck. 
you know, tomorrow you got a big game tomorrow. So it could possibly be your last game of your high school career. How do you feel going into that game? I'm just excited to win. Excited to play with my teammates. I've been playing with the same teammates since seventh, eighth grade. So I'm excited to win with those people. How do you mentally prepare yourself and, you know, hype up the team and get the energy up before games like that? Just good vibes around our teammates and around the area we in, like just uplift everybody around us. That's all we can do. All right, and then how do you feel about your opponents, you know? Uh, I know like a couple people over there. I'm not, it's not going to be a hard game at all. We got this for All right, and then if you get the ball in a fast break, what you doing? I'm getting a bango, of course. <laughs> All right, then last question. You hit the game winning shot with like five seconds left. What's your celebration? Man, just go straight to my teammates. Celebrate, yell, all that. It's going to be lit when we do that. What about you going, you're not going to hit no dance moves or nothing? No, I don't dance like that. <laughs> all right, thank you. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Oberg. I'm here with Major Dudek. Major, tomorrow could possibly be, you know, your last basketball career, I mean, last basketball game of your high school career. How do you feel going into that big game? Uh, I'm excited, but uh, we need to focus and uh, we need to lock in and win this game so it's not the end. Talking about focusing and, you know, getting locked in, how do you mentally prepare for a big game? Like uh, I just focus the whole day. Like at school, I watch film and stuff and just get my mind ready for the game. And then how do you hype up your teammates and, you know, get the energy up in the locker room? Uh, I just give them words of encouragement. Uh, I'm not really one that... Hypes up the team, though. You begin sturdy when they play the music in the, yeah. in the locker room. Yeah. All right, and then how do you prepare for you know the other team? Uh, been watching film. We've been practicing, doing scouts and stuff, and figuring out what they're doing, running the plays and stuff. All right, so let's say you get a pickpocket steal. You running down the the court, free free lane, fast break. What you doing? What you doing to hype up the crowd? I'm doing a windmill. Windmill like, off the backboard. Yep. And at East Bay. Yep. Damn. All right, and then last question. You hit a buzzer beater to win the game. What's your celebration like? What, what's your dance moves you hitting? The gritty, the ice spice, what you hitting? I'm gritting for sure. No ice spice? Nah, nah. Gavin said if he uh, he hits a game winning shot, he's hitting the ice spice. How you feel about that? I would like to see that. You would like to see that? All right, Gavin, you better hit, up that, hit that game winning shot. We trying to see you do the ice spice, bro. What's good, everybody? I'm here with the short king himself, Noah Smith. You know, I had to get him a chair because he's pretty short, but, you know, first question. Since you are, like, one of the most obnoxious and annoying people in the student section, what's, like, your go-to chant to, you know, hype up the team? Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, take his whistle uh, directed at the refs, and uh, you can't do that whenever uh, the other team commits a foul. Really gets in their head. I'm not really informed on that, but like, could you get a take for saying take his whistle or? How I haven't. Does that I work? haven't yet. I've been threatening to get kicked out, but that's as far as it's going. All right. How do you feel about the team going into the next the big games? Uh, you know, I'm really confident in my boys. Uh, you know, they gotta have had a good season so far. I don't see why they don't keep it rolling. All right. Since you're pretty bad at basketball and you would never be in this situation, I'm still gonna ask you because it's just a hypothetical. What would you do if you hit a buzzer beater shot to win the game? I'd stare at you down individually. I'd find you in the crowd and I'd look you dead in your eyes and just stare at you. I don't go to the games, but like, what type of celebration? You're not doing no dance moves, no ice spice, no. You're not <laughs> the gonna, ice spice is crazy. You're not I gonna show off your Megan curve, knees. Bro, you tripping, bro? So you're not gonna you're not gonna oh show us God. off no dance moves? Uh, I'll hit the Travis Kelsey stanky leg. I'll hit him with that. Well, you would, but you'll never be in that situation, so. Oh, well, thank you. It's, you know, I appreciate your time, Mr. Uh, get out my interview. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Overg, and I'm here with Gavin Mott. All right, Gavin, you know, tomorrow could be your last basketball game of the season. How are you feeling going to that big game? I feel pretty good. Got to prepare a lot. Be mentally ready, physically. Talk about ready. being mentally ready. How do, you, how do you mentally prepare yourself for big games like this? Uh, meditate, listen to music, all of that. What I think do. I'll be seeing you doing yoga, you know, PE. You be doing some yoga for games? Oh, yeah. Got to. Every game. And then how you feel about your opponents going into this big game? I feel pretty good. We really just got to stop the big man and a couple guards, and we do pretty good. All right, let's say, you know, you guarding they point guard, right? Mm -hmm. You pickpocket him. You running open lane free uh, fast break. 
What you doing to hype up the crowd? You, you going to hit it with me or something? Let it dunk. Cool, no one dunk. <laughs> cool, no, no one dunk. dunk. You're not going to hit no windmill, no back scratcher. Right, bouncy enough for that. We need more bouncy people on the team. <laughs> Can't be having these lame mode normal dunks. All right, and then last question. You hit a, buzz, a buzzer beater from half court. What's your celebration? Like, you win the game with that buzzer beater. What's your celebration? What you going to do? Hitting the gritty and running all over the court. Hit the gritty? No, yeah. like, no, like, ice spice dance or nothing? Go do the goggles, too. Do the goggles? What about the ice spice Look at dance? Section. No ice spice dance? Uh, if you want me to, yeah, I will. All right. All right, you heard it here first. You know, Gavin might hit the ice spice when he hits the game winner. All right. What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony Ober, and I'm here with Ian Wilson. Hello. I'm a, I got to stand on a chair to be taller than you. All right, well, first question. If you didn't know, boys basketball has their district game. You know, it could be one and done. Yeah. So how do you feel about them going into that game? You think they got the win? Oh, yeah, that's easy W. Hey, my boy AJ, going stupid. Stupid. I mean, I don't know about all that, but you're you a good friend for that. How do you go disrespect my son? You're a good friend for that. All right, all right, but all right, I'll let it slide. are you going to the game? Yeah, for sure. 8.30. Well, what's the best chance for the student section to go? <laughs> you good? You good? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Last, last question. If you was in a basketball game, uh -huh. you hit a buzzer beater shot yeah. to win the game. Mm -hmm. What's your celebration? You know, you showing off your mega knees, you, you nay nay, what? gritty. What you hitting? Nothing. I'm going to walk off like I've done it before. But you haven't. Yeah, I have. You haven't done it Pee -wee before. Lee, boy. I was him. I was going like, <gasps> my sister hit a buzzer beat one time. And I like. You're not your sister, though. <laughs> yeah. And you're not hitting the game when it's shot, so I don't even know why I asked you the question. Get I out, did. Get out the interview. Go. Hey, you want some much of a celebration for the speed dance? Nothing. Hey, you're doing 